All right, everybody, I just want to talk about psychological trait theories now. So we're shifting away from just pure biological to psychology and, and really done, again, not by criminologists, most of this research. It's been done by psychologists. Okay, so early on, uh, this area was looked at by Sigmund Freud. It, of course, wasn't his primary area of uh studying crime he was studying human behavior in general um and regarded human behavior uh as sort of a uh, um our, our psyche as, as a series of competing forces all right so human behavior is gov governed by our primitive urges uh the eros and the thanatos uh of the id so the id is sort of the evil. We're, we're basically born evil into this, into the world, uh, born to do wrong, and it requires repression of the child, the id in the child, the, the evil part of the child. Um, and, and I shouldn't say id as just being purely evil. Id has being um, our desire for basically to be selfish whatever we want whenever we want it that sort of thing right and we can see how that could then link to criminal behavior so the idea was that this would be repressed and what we would do is develop an ego and a super ego so ego being um uh ourselves our super ego being our awareness of others our our humanity our wanting to help others um even at our own expense that sort of thing. All right. Uh, so the psychodynamics, the criminal behavior, were more closely studied, and Freud had a lot of people that followed him. Uh, that definitely took his work to a, a whole range spectrum of of behaviors and, and um, uh, the human condition. So August Acorn, he took. Um, Freud's theory and applied it specifically to criminal behavior. So what he called it is latent delinquency. So youth who, again, seek immediate gratification for their needs, uh, care more about their personal needs and their relationships with others, uh, don't consider right and wrong, uh, and really have no sense of guilt as being a, a psych psychodynamic feature where latent delinquency is a result of an underdeveloped superego, underdeveloped ego. Uh, so then the id is more in control of the person's behavior and therefore um, uh, their decision making. So criminals, according to this theory then, are basically people that are immature. They have uh, weak egos and superegos uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, they feel oppressed and hard done by, right? Even though um, uh, they tend to be very selfish, but they tend to be very oppressed by others because why shouldn't they be able to do whatever the heck they want to do sort of thing, right? Uh, they lack appropriate defense mechanisms. And this is probably Freud's biggest contribution to the, to the field of psychology was his um, development and analysis of defense mechanisms. So defense mechanisms being how we um, adapt to and manage our emotional states, how we adapt and manage to um, things that happen to us, external stimuli in our environment, right? Some people do with it very well, other people not so well, right? So you can explain addictions, you can explain the whole range of human behavior, shyness, uh, everything else from this perspective. Uh, so criminals tend to lack appropriate defense mechanisms. They don't know basically social skills on how to deal with um, uh, stimuli in their environment that might be aversive to them. Uh, so they act out to gain attention uh, that was lacking in childhood. And that attention lost in childhood is seen as um, ingrained in a person's psyche so that they end up acting out in adulthood because of that need wasn't fulfilled in childhood. 
Uh, there's a lot of stuff around Freud's psychodynamic theory and, and what Freud came up with, where our later behavior is linked to our, our um, learned behavior from early on in our lives. So people use crime as a source of psychic rewards and, and can rationalize those rewards as they deserve it because they're hard done by, they feel oppressed, uh, because they deserve it because they didn't have it when they were a child, um, those sorts of ideas. All right, That's basically the idea of psychodynamics uh, uh, of criminal behavior. So I'm going to end that there. Um, and I will post the questions for the assignment for the assignment for the discussion post. Okay, uh, I'll post a link to them and explain that just a, on the next part here.